You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. We begin this Wednesday with election results pointing the way toward presidential politics in 2016. Winners in the two biggest races, Virginia and New Jersey, carry major political prestige for their parties. ABC's Taman Bradley has been tracking the results this morning, and he's joining us now from Washington. Good morning, Taman. Good morning, Diana and John. This was an off-year election. We're not even at the midterms yet, but it was an election that was closely watched for the clues it could provide about the next presidential race. How about this, New Jersey? New Jersey Governor Chris Christie won re-election in a landslide, setting the stage for a possible run for president in 2016. Christie's victory speech went beyond the Garden State and had all the hallmarks of a candidate with national aspirations. He sold his win as a path forward for the Republican Party. Maybe the folks in Washington, D.C. should tune in their TVs right now, see how it's done. Christie won big, a decisive 20-point victory by a Republican in a Democratic state. He won a majority of women, Latinos, even a third of all Democrats. In Virginia, a closer contest. Terry McAuliffe, a former Democratic fundraiser, party chair, and friend of Bill and Hillary Clinton, was elected governor. There are a lot of proud Democrats here, and aren't we proud tonight, folks? Virginia was something of a testing ground for Hillary Clinton's machine, which is standing by for a possible White House run. McAuliffe defeated Ken Cuccinelli, a Tea Party-backed conservative. The Republican Party has two different versions of its future right in front of it and two different paths toward, toward success or possible failure. Hundreds of cities across the country elected mayors. In New York, an end of an era. Democrat Bill de Blasio, running on a much more liberal agenda than three-term mayor Michael Bloomberg, cruised to victory. The people of this city have chosen a progressive path. President Obama worked the phones, congratulating some of last night's big winners, including de Blasio and McAuliffe. One person he did not call, Governor Christie. John and Diana. All right, ABC's Timon Bradley live in Washington for us. Thank you. All right, other notable election results. Pot featuring prominently in two states. Voters in Portland, Maine's largest city, declaring victory on a measure to legalize possession of recreational amounts of marijuana. The measure got about 67% support. Even with the vote, pot possession remains illegal under state and federal laws. In Colorado, voters have agreed to a 25% tax on marijuana sales. The estimated $67 million generated by the tax will go towards building schools and regulating pot shops. And Detroit has elected a new mayor, but he won't have much to say in running the cash-strapped city. Mike Dugan is the Motor City's first white mayor in 40 years, but a state-appointed emergency manager will maintain control of the city's finances until it emerges from bankruptcy. An effort to save Houston's famed Astrodome has been defeated. One called, once called the eighth wonder of the world, the dome became the city's defining landmark, but eventually bigger and better stadiums and arenas took its place. The dome now sits empty and it will likely be demolished.